Hello friends, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to customize settings as per your convenience and the requirement. The objective of this video is understanding the mouse controls for KTR V5. There are two types of mice which are usually used. One is the regular three button mouse and other is 3DX mouse which is specially designed for the CAD model to increase the modeling speed by providing more functions. In this video, we'll understand the regular three button mouse controls. And to understand this, I have already opened the existing part which have already built model. Here, we'll focus on the mouse control, so don't worry about how it is built. To select any geometry or the element, you can use the left button of the mouse. Here, I want to select the face of this model. So, you have to simply hover your mouse cursor on that object and click the left button of the mouse. Then that element get selected and highlighted. Now you can do your required operation on it. Suppose you want to select a multiple uh, elements or geometries. You can hold down the control key and select the elements one by one by using the left button of the mouse. To unselect the selections, you can click the left button of the mouse in the space. Suppose you want to select the series of elements from the specification tree. So here you have to select the first element in that series, then hold down the shift key and then select the last element into the series. In this way, you can select all the elements in between that first element and the last element easily. Now unselect these elements and to select all the elements from the specific area, you can create a selection trap. To create selection trap, hold down your left key at the start point and drag it diagonally at uh, till end point and release the left button. Now the elements which are inside that box is got selected. So make sure that the element you want to select are completely inside the selection trap. The left button of the mouse is generally used to select the elements. Now let's see how to zoom in and zoom out the object. To do that, hold down the middle button of the mouse. Then you can click at the right or the left button of the mouse. Then you can observe the cursor symbol it changed to two-way upright arrow. Then move mouse forward to zoom in and move mouse backward to zoom out. Once you get the required size, you can release the middle button. There is another way you can do the zoom in and zoom out. Hold down the middle button of the mouse, then click the control key once and then move mouse forward to zoom in and move mouse backward to zoom out. Release the button once you get the required size of object. And in this way, you can do zoom in and zoom out the object. To pan the object in the screen, hold down the middle button of the mouse and move mouse in the required direction. The specification tree become bigger and bigger as design matures. So in this example, if I expand the part body, you can see the specification tree is like very big. So to access the elements which are at the bottom of the specification tree on out of screen, we need to scroll the specification tree. To scroll the specification tree, we have to scroll the mouse wheel. So now you can access the bottom element of this specification tree. You can also change the size of the specification tree. For that, you have to hold on the control key and then scroll the mouse wheel backward to make it smaller and scroll forward to make it bigger. Now collapse this tree. Then I'll pan this object somewhere here. Now I want this object at the center of the screen. To get this object at the center of the screen, hold your mouse cursor on it and press the middle button. It will bring that object at the center of the screen. Now let's see how to rotate this object into the 3D space. To rotate, hold down the middle button of the mouse. Then hold down either the right or the left button of the mouse. Then 
move your mouse to rotate the object. There is another way you can hold down the middle button on the mouse, then hold down the control key and move the mouse to rotate the object. To change the center of rotation, you can hold your mouse at the required point and click on the middle button, then hold down the middle button of the mouse, then hold down either right or the left button of the mouse, then move your mouse to rotate the object. So it will rotate about that selected center of point. Now let's see how to access object related functions. Suppose you want to access functions related to the object, you can hold your mouse on that object and you can click the right button of the mouse. So you'll get some functions related to that object. Let's see some basic functions here. Suppose I want to find this object into the specification tree, then you can use a center graph. So the object gets focused into the specification tree. Now I want to pan my object somewhere here. Now collapse the specification tree and I want to right click on this object. So right click on this object into the specification tree and I want to find this object into the graphical window. So you can click here reframe on and it will focus on that point. It will bring that point at the center of the screen. This is the summary of the mouse control for KTI V5. That's all for this video. If you like my videos, please do share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.